the development of the renewable energy in, in South Africa starting 10 years ago. Renewable has increased the capacity of, of the grid and also we have uh, installed plants in remote areas. The impact in the country has been, uh, I think, positive. With the APP program, the government of South Africa opened the market to a private actor in the sector of producing electricity. Before the IPPs, the production of electricity here in South Africa were done mainly by ESCO, the public company. I think a lot of people, they're still a little bit indecisive or they still question the long-term benefits of solar energy and whether it's going to be sustainable or not. But I think that we've proven that it's possible. It's a reliable source of energy. And I think more people should just be accepting and willing to enter into this field so that it can grow more and become more robust and become a good competitor to other sources of energy. The main advantage that we have with uh, CSP plants is the fact that the energy is dispatchable. We can store the energy on the plant via our salt storage systems and then dispatch the energy during peak time when it is most in demand. Renewable energy has a very bright future. I think it's going to be a, a really big contender compared to fossil fuel uh, energy and nuclear energy as well. South Africa is still heavily reliant on fossil fuels. In the short and medium term, the greater implementation rate of photovoltaic may be a way for South Africa to move away from fossil fuels and uh, more toward green energy. However, a barrier at this stage is the storage component when it comes to photovoltaic. The development of this project was boosted by the support of the international investment institutions like the Climate Investment Fund. Thanks of that, we are here and we expect also that this institution to continue supporting the renewable market here in South Africa.